I want to start with three congratulatory notes to the Chief Minister of Odisha. If you know, in the recent past, Odisha is one state where the poverty reduction has been the maximum between 2004 and 11. Second, if there is one state in India where the farmer's real income increased fastest 8.7% per annum between 2002 to 2015-16, is Odisha. You deserve a lot of congratulations on these two mega achievements. And the third one, which is being rolled out today, the Kalia scheme. I think this can be the lighthouse to guide the nation what type of agriculture policy will be there tomorrow for the farmers of this country. I think from today, the first list is going to be put in. What you have achieved that is tremendous, very commendable. But it is not time for complacency. I think there are still much bigger challenges right in front of Odisha's agriculture. The level of income of the farmer is still one third of what is in Punjab. So there is a lot of ground to be covered. And also there is a lot of malnutrition in the country. So how do we augment farmers' incomes to scale those heights? And how do we remove malnutrition from this state? And in an environment when there is a climate change posing a bigger challenge to agriculture, these are some of the big challenges right facing the state. I have only one or two main suggestions. Looking at what has happened to your agriculture, the growth in agriculture came primarily from the livestock sector. That is where much of the growth has come in. So diversification from cereals to high value agriculture, that is one major factor which has led to farmers' incomes. Also increasing irrigation. I think still about 40% area is irrigated. You have a long way to go. And that will increase productivity. But one thing that we found in our studies, we have been working on Odisha's agriculture for more than two, three years. Commendable thing is the role of roads, especially rural roads, which has connected the hinterlands to markets, the linkages to the markets, but also it has opened up different opportunities for labor to move out. So the latest survey of NABARD the biggest survey in the country has shown that more than 50% income of the agriculture household is coming from wages, salaries, and jobs somewhere else. So this mobility has given Odisha a much better income levels than they used to be. And I wish they will continue that process in the years to come with one last note. Because the main staple is rice, and almost 40% of the cultivated area is under rice, and there is a lot of malnutrition, I think the staples need to be fortified with higher protein, higher zinc, higher iron. And there are varieties right here, CR Dhan 311, which gives you more zinc, double of what Suvarna gives. And zinc is critical for the growth of mind of the children. Otherwise, it leads to stunting. So where you can biofortify at a very low cost your basic staples to remove malnutrition from this land and kindly continue the path you have on the agriculture incomes. And the third one, the Kalia scheme that you have launched, the whole country is watching that how it will be rolled out and can this be the model of tomorrow's agriculture policy in the country as a whole. Thank you very much and wishing you all the best.